JP, hey, I don't, I don't think you're a hack, dude, at all. You know, you kept saying it over and over. Why, why, why? Are you nervous? I was nervous right then. I'm not nervous anymore. Um, I see, I see how you were on edge. How you, you were really busting out, like, what's been in here, and knowing that it was gonna be online, dude. It is fucking K. Attic, because you are destroying something. You're destroying your old way of life. If there's such a thing, is change chaos because we're we're destroying the past and creating a new future? Even if it's like something like if I got up and walked across the room, did I destroy the reality of me sitting in the chair in order to be across the room and create a chaotic situation? Uh, is chaos nonstop? Is chaos constant? Can there be no chaos? Because by what you were saying, peace is when there's no chaos. Peace is when there's pain, but we allow the pain to exist. Because like you said, chaos is when you feel pain and you destroy that, whatever is causing the pain, in the moment. You destroy that to create something new. So then the opposite of chaos, peace, uh, is that when you just accept the pain. I've found that. I found that if someone's yelling at me or getting angry at me, if I just accept it and listen, and to a crowd of people, they would look at me and say, oh, he's weak. Why, why is he not? Oh, but then I tell you, if I continue to listen and respond to the person, the people in the crowd stand in silence because they don't aren't used to it because I think human nature is chaos is to be provoked and then react or respond but you know you just you respond to the provocation rather than allow for the pain if someone slaps you or punches you just allow for it don't fight back and it will stop communicate and it will stop don't be afraid even if it hurts, don't be afraid. Communicate and it will stop. Peace is attainable. Of course it is. I'm so glad Jean-Pierre, or do you prefer Jean-Pierre or JP? I, I've been wa I watched your video and I've been thinking about it for days. It's like been popping into my head and I, I didn't make a video response to it and I thought, I, I left a text comment and I thought, That's... to that video, a text comment is so such a poor response because I think that you're brilliant, and I'm I do. We are philosophers, like from around the world. Just now, we can get these thoughts out. I mean, we're everything. We're scientists, philosophers, philanthropists. I think is that someone that studies hum humanity, humanists, a philanthropist. I gotta look up the exact definition of that, but I think that there, we are philanthropists too. Um, philanthropy. Yeah, dude, we're we're everything, and we are connecting on YouTube. You're right. This is now the medium. Before we would have went to the town square and spoken around the fountain, or or we would have sent each other like we would have mailed each other our notes. Our per we would have taken notes of our thoughts, and then we would have mailed it to the other person, and the other person, you always hear like Einstein and other, uh, he, the people that he, he was working with, like they would trade notes and they would always like read each other's notes, but that's what we're doing with these videos, which is what we can do with these videos. We can do anything. We can talk about our emotions. We can, we can be human and, and give our, our notes of our perspective of reality and let other people experience them, not read them, experience the notes, I suppose. And then you can experience their perception, and good God, evolution has been kicked into high gear. A lot of shit's happened in the last 20 years, dude, and it's just, it's getting, it's like a J-curve. It's, it's exponentially increasing. It's like compound interest, it's just firing. I feel like I'm 27, and there's, I've got, I mean, you can't, you can't decide ahead of time, but I see, like, 
tens of 50, 100 years ahead of me. I don't know how long we're going to live in 80 years. If we're going to live till we're, we're 120, I guess you live however long you want to live. So we'll be old men still communicating and old women still communicating. I don't know why I stuck to old men because I think of philosopher, I think of man because I think of the woman as focused on this physical reality, the third dimension. They're Masters, masters of the third dimension, and men are the explorers, the ones that conceptualize and explore the fifth dimension by nature. Of course, then there are women that explore other dimensional perspectives and, other, and, and all that stuff. And there are men that focus on the third dimension, this physical reality. But I just find that it's usually the men explore and the women create in, the, in what they have. And then you, you balance the two and you find the most amazing things. Uh, my God. Okay, I'll, I'll see you. Um, I'll talk to you soon. This is this is good. This is <laughs> this is reality now.